All right, so a uh, new Camilla has dropped. We're gonna be summoning. Hopefully, we'll get one really quickly, and then we can leave. Uh, the banner is is. The thing is, I would say like the banner is bad, but then they put like one unit people would want in the banner. Yeah, the blue Valenti reruns. I despise catastrophes for this. You know, at the very least, you know, Ragnarok characters, they, they get put in SR tickets. Catastrophes, if there's a catastrophe you really need, like this Valenti, you, you best believe they're only gonna return in other stinky catastrophe banners with characters that you don't want. Yeah. But yeah, uh, hopefully we'll pull one copy really quickly so we can just leave as fast as possible. This character is very mediocre. And... I will only have probably this video as the only time I use this character ever. And that and that's really it. I mean, it's really sad to even say this, because I, I saw some people saying, oh, she is actually better than Nanashi, because she is essentially a Nanashi unit. Like, she's meant to be a back unit for unknown. She's, like, comparable to Nanashi. She's not that much worse than him. Can you... What is, what is wrong with this unit? Mono. She's not necessarily much worse than him. But she's not better than him either. Which is crazy because Nanashi is a unit that everyone has. He's in SSR tickets. And now this brand new unit, you're telling me, is comparable to him. Not better, comparable. <laughs> Insane. Insane to me. Yeah, I'll be talking about more what she does uh, once we hopefully pull her. As fast as possible. I don't want. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to six hundred. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. This barrier has no value other than that Valenti. I guess Red Chandler is not bad, but Red Chandler is a unit that's gonna eventually, hopefully, maybe if the game decides to, be putting SSR tickets. He's just a base Chandler. So if he ever goes to the SSR tickets, that's a six six right there. Anyone that plays this game has a shit ton of SR tickets, because when are you gonna use them? Sick, dude. Yeah, this, this is why you summon this banner. When are you gonna use the SR tickets? No units got added to that thing! Like, yeah, you got your retard meow max duped. Like, in 20... 22, or whatever he was uh, added to the SR tickets. And then that's really, that's really it. Since Red Tarmiel, there hasn't been much added to the SSR tickets that matters. Right? Bro. You're really gonna make me go 600. That's... Uh, that's sick, man. That's so sick. A blue Valencia dupe. Ah, nice box CC. That's sick, man. If everyone, if anyone's asking, should you summon this banner? Yes, uh, you have my stamp of approval. Please dump all of your gems in this banner before the next festival, so you have no gems in the festival. This is a message paid by the Marble Corporation, so that you then have to buy gems for the festival. This is a. Uh, this is what the the Marble three developers want you to do. That's sick, man. Uh, I swear to God, if I get her in the last multi before pity, blue hawk and Oslo. At least the green one's actually, you know, usable for something. All right, all right. Let's take a look at her animations here. I'm unlocking her passive. Like I said, she's like a... I, I would like to say Nanashi replacement. But I'm not so sure if people are actually going to be using her over Nanashi. I don't know, maybe some unknown teams will. We saw one animation.
But I find it, I find it unlikely. She's just a little worse than Anashi. In terms of uh, overall for any given team. I'll show one more in PvP. Alright, so her passive is that she increases allies' basic stats by 50 unknown and, and uh, catastrophe allies basic stats by 15% and applies a buff that increases max HP, crit defense, and resistance by 25% and protection, which is uh, whenever an enemy attacks us, uh, they lose ult gauge. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. We, we are uh, mind controlled, so we're gonna attack them. Oh, we're, we can't attack them, I think. But the most important thing is actually her Holy Relic. So she does that, and then her Holy Relic is increases the attack power and penetration rate of unknown allies with 4 or less special gauge by 20%. Also, enemies who use skills during their, their turn will have their attack release stats reduced by 5%. So we have a 15% basic stat increase, and then we have this 20% attack and pierce increase. And that's... Uh, I think what they mean to do, you know, you combine both of these and she becomes a sort of like Nanashi-like unit. Because she works in the back. Now, we're, we're using her in the front because, I mean, it's her video. I might as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she, she works in the back. Both her Relic and her passive work in the back. She herself isn't very good. Like... I mean, it is what it is. She's, she's meant to be a back unit. She's sort of like an Ashley. The problem I have is that I think this character... Take away her passive. Take away her relic. Give it to another race. Giants. Fairies. Fairies just got an LR, right? Not unknown. Unknown already has an Anashi. It doesn't need another one. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that's the thing I have. Like, why... Why give this specific combination of things to already an unknown character? Or, sorry, already a category of characters that doesn't need it. So, because of that, like, we're using the Nash in the back. And we're using her. And we're using <laughs> Narbera, because uh, she also attack buffs. I just wanted to make, like, a full attack buff team for Demiurge. Demiurge is, like, a placement here that we could just change to any other like high dps unknown i could have picked like i don't know like tor or <laughs> i was i was i was about to say zahard man i i wish i want i want him to be good so bad i don't know why i don't i do i tried reading tower of god i couldn't i couldn't the art is so bad maybe i'll pick it up again but i tried i didn't get to him uh fitoria stuff like that like this team right here is actually pretty crazy, like, the attack buffing and everything is pretty good, it's just... Man, I feel like Unknown didn't need this, you know? Like, uh, a different team could have used this much better. This could have been a new Helbrum, new named Helbrum with this passive, and, you know, ignore the Relic, just add the Relic to the passive, whatever, right? The passive is already so small. If you added the Holy Relic to the passive, it wouldn't even be that big of a passive compared to what we get these days, right? If this was like a new named Helbrum or something like that for fairies, I think it would have been so much better, but no, they, it has to be an unknown character, right? Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna attack with Camilla. Let's, let's not lose, right? I mean, Demiurge doing a lot of damage is not anything new. But we're heavy boosting him. Like, we're not even using, like, a demon team or anything. We're just straight up using unknown. Like, Demiurge is, is missing... What is he missing exactly? Um, it's been, like, a couple of days since I've used him. Oh, yeah, he, he is missing... Basic stats and uh, damage reduction. Nothing that does extra damage, okay. Let's do this attack from Camilla. See what's up. Yeah, like I said, she's not very good. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, if you put Nanashi in the front, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see some terrible damage numbers, right? It's, it's nothing... It's nothing surprising. Oh, you know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, we could level 3, but I, I'm, I'm looking at this... Uh... Nah. Yeah, whatever. Damn. It is type of disadvantage. I mean, that's like a, a remove alt gauge card. It's not really a hard hitting card. Again, she's a back unit. She's a back unit. It's just what team is gonna want to use her over Nanash is what I'm thinking. Unknowns are already not the best team anymore. Demons. Uh, demons, quote unquote, because uh, three of the units are unknown, right? Or maybe two of the units. Do you really want to use her with the regular Tor unknown team? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're getting 5% more attack than Anashi. Right? And your attack lowering the enemies. That's kind of it. Uh, we definitely just kill with the AoE, right? We don't have to worry. Wow. Yeah, our damage on this team is actually pretty nutty. I should have checked the attack stats. I'm just kind of going through and uh, seeing what's up, but I should be checking the attack stat. Having less than 4 ult gauge is definitely a lot easier to manage than Nanashi's passive, I'll say that. Nanashi's passive of uh, needing two or less cards is very annoying, always has been. Because, I mean, people say, oh, it's not RNG, you can just, you know, make sure that this... Shut up. It's, R it's RNG. The cards you get are RNG. It's 28k. 32k. 29k. I'll check at the beginning of a battle. Uh, I like to see Camilla doing damage as well, but it's like... I, I'm just doing it because, like, she's not doing much. Now, you might have noticed I didn't really mention what she does post-transformation, because, yes, she is just regular base Camilla, so she does transform. It's just, like, it's not even worth talking about. Like, the transformation is so terrible. I, I really wish they wouldn't just pretend like transformations never were a thing and... Never even try, because after she transforms... Oh, let's transform now. I mean, Nanashi could just remove alt gauge, but... Oh, yeah. Nanashi being the last character is kind of annoying, because he actually can remove alt gauge. Uh, after she transforms... Literally, her, her passive is just... It's just ass. Like, at the end of Ally's turn... I'll just kill. Removes all debuffs from Ally's one time and apply buff that makes allies immune to debuffs. She loses all of her good things <laughs> and then just gets a cleanse. That's it. That's that's the like you don't want to transform. She becomes worse. I genuinely don't get that. Why why does she become worse? She doesn't even have a damaging cards post transformation. She just becomes a worse unit. I don't I don't get it. I think transformations were a good idea that was just very poorly executed. They could have... They could have just given her something good. Like, does she have to be bad after transforming? Like, I'm the number one OC hater, but I'm thinking that Marble is the number one OC hater. Uh... I wanna... I wanna get the ult. Just cuz, but... Is it worth it? I don't know if it is even worth it. I think just showing off Demiurge with all the attack buffing is enough. And before, oh, nice Demiurge showcase. 
I tried. Listen, support units don't do damage. If you want a support unit do doing damage, this is not the unit. What support unit even does damage? I guess Demiurge. He's a support unit. <laughs> he does everything. He does everything. He's just that. He's just that guy. He is just that guy. I mean, the attack side is pretty crazy for un for uh, ungeared PvP. Oh no, I need to uh, shock first. Yeah, put the shock first. You do more damage. Narbaro's support unit. She sometimes can do damage whenever the 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 stars align. Whenever the star the the stars align and the cards are perfect, she can do damage. Alright, if we can kill Nanashi, we we can get a Camilla to transform. And she becomes a worse unit. That's epic. Never mind. 